What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson Forge. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Black Ops 3 Collector's Edition set. As you can see, here's the full list and the whole image, you know, what you're gonna be receiving for the collector's edition items. And I'm telling you, this has to be one of the top collector's items to get this year because you know they give away this mini fridge that you see on the left side. It can hold like around 12 cans of Coke or whatever, you know, whatever you're gonna put in there, uh beer, you know, I don't know but it fits 12 cans and that's pretty good because i have a mini fridge for myself and they only hold like around six cans so yeah this one if this one can hold 12 you know that's good and i'll have this in my room so uh the juggernaut fridge also has like a sound effects every time you open the door and i do have that clip that uh people are opening the door for the juggernaut and um you know it does makes the sound effect and one of the sound effects was the um when the round starts and round one you know it makes that sound effect so it's super cool. I like the mini fridge and I'm being honest today like I know I've been hating Black Ops 3 for the past week and a half or so um, but today you know I'm liking the collector's edition. This is actually a great collector's edition you know for the Black Ops 3 game. It's just that I hate the game though. Multiplayer is really not that good so yeah right now I'm standing 50-50 with the game and the collector's edition is the only thing I'm going for at this point so yeah, it's pretty good that I will be getting the fridge. Uh, I'll be doing a full unboxing about that in the future in November. So subscribe right now because it's going to be a lot of things going on in November and also in August because of the beta. So anyways, moving on to the next items uh, is the coasters. As you can see in the bottom part of the screen, these are just coasters with the emblems of the uh, of all the perks. So this is actually pretty cool. It's just that uh, I don't have a table for it. So yeah i'll probably just stick them to the jug and i'll put some tape behind it and i'll just stick them in there or just put them in my wall or something just for decoration because i really don't have a table for those coasters so unless i do a giveaway on them i'm not, I'm not sure if you guys want a giveaway of some coasters it's just coasters for god's sakes moving on to the next items has to be the uh the cards as you can see in the list on the top right corner we get ourselves some um where is it where is it limited edition concept art cards now these uh i guess so i mean concept art it's cool to see it's just that i'm not really into that like i i used to be a good artist myself back in elementary you know i used to draw pretty good it's just that um i'm not really into it anymore so i might do a giveaway on those because i really do not want them so yeah next thing we're going to be receiving is the giant zombies in-game bonus map now this is was <laughs> I actually predicted this stuff. I told you guys we were going to get an extra map, you know, just to play around or the, but that was for the zombie beta one though. Well, at least we get two maps this time. So that's great. That is great. There's no DLC for like day one. Dude. You got to buy the freaking, you know, DLC in order for, to play zombie. So that's another good thing. Uh, next thing we're going to be getting three personalization packs is really not that big of a deal to me because I'm good at the game. Um, designs and you know, extra emblems doesn't really make you better. It just decorates you. I mean, you can be a piece of shit and decorate the piece of shit, but you're still going to be a piece of shit at the end. So, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal to have personalization packs. I wish I can trade those off, like in the end game. It's just that um, they, they never fucking add a little trade house in the game. So, that's kind of sucks. Because I don't really mind giving away the cyborgs and the weaponized 115 looking weapon and the black ops 3 pack or whatever so yeah those are the uh three personalization packs it says includes weapon camel reticles and calling cards next is the official game dlc soundtrack now this is something that really wasted my time because i can just download that shit off the youtube you know website like nothing so that is it guys this is the whole collector set uh, i'll be pre-ordering this it, it's gonna cost like around 200 bucks Two hundred dollars, you know, because if I keep on saying bucks, you know, I keep thinking of those animals. <laughs> so it's gonna cost you two hundred dollars to actually cut, buy this whole collector set. I know people have been saying out there that oh, it costs two eighty nine or something. No, it costs two hundred bucks. It's been revealed during that Comic Con in San Diego. So yeah, I'm I'm actually gonna spend two hundred bucks, and you will see an unboxing in the future of November. So subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 information and also more Black Ops 3 news.